Hi, welcome back to morebeach.com. Today is August 28th. Yes, we're talking the end of August, but we do have one more week ahead of us of summer thanks to a late Labor Day. And we do have an exciting weekend. For the second week in a row, we have another tropical storm. It is Danny. Now, Danny is going to combine with a low pressure off the Carolinas. It's actually west of the Carolinas right now. These two should come together right around the mid coast here and produce a large extra tropical storm that will hit us tomorrow afternoon evening. All right, but today we are in a tropical storm watch right now, but that's probably going to change to a warning by five o'clock on the next National Hurricane Center's update. Uh, okay, so tomorrow morning when you wake up, we are talking windy and rainy, and it's gonna be pretty much raining and windy the whole day. The winds are going to increase to 30 miles per hour, to 40 miles per hour, probably around three, four o'clock. Noon time is when I heard that it was probably going to start the wind and the windswept rain. We're talking three to five inches of rain here tomorrow with Danny coming right through us. All right, that's pretty fun stuff though, I gotta tell you. Bill was not a direct hit. Bill was perfect, we love that kind of thing, but uh, Danny's gonna come right over us, so we're not gonna get any kind of uh, surf tomorrow. The wind is going to pick up and produce some huge wind swell, probably about 10 to 13 feet by the end of the afternoon tomorrow. And it's going to be fun to watch, but it's going to be hard to see with wind swept rain just pounding you in the face, I imagine. We're talking 30 to 40 mile an hour sustained winds tomorrow afternoon, starting around noon and uh, ending around 10, 11 o'clock at night. Now we're talking gusts from 50 to 60 miles per hour. This storm is tracked to pretty much uh, thread the needle right through Nantucket and uh, Chatham. So we're talking right overhead, folks. It's going to be a good one. Uh, we're not going to see any storm surf out of this until Sunday, but Sunday when we wake up, we are talking 10 to 12 foot seas. They are out of the due south. So that is going to be wraparound. We're talking well overhead in the morning and slowly diminishing on the day Sunday to about six to eight feet, which we're talking is still going to be about overhead, I would say. And they're going to be some long rights, hopefully. All right, so that's basically our story for this weekend. Sunday is going to have southwest winds. I don't know, with the south swell, it is going to be a little, a little complicated to figure out exactly how this is going to look. Southwest winds, south swell. You kind of have to help me out here. It's a tough one to predict. All right, but uh, by the end of the day, Sunday, we should see some really fun surf. Now on Monday, we're going to have about four to six foot seas starting out in the morning. And uh, we're going to have some west-northwest winds, so Monday's looking like a pretty good day to get out and go surfing, I would say. Still out of the south. Tuesday, more of the same. We're talking maybe two to four foot. I'm, I'm thinking maybe about waist high by uh, Tuesday. So we're talking chest to head high on Monday. Sunday is well overhead to head high. And tomorrow, let's just look forward to a big storm party or something like that because it is going to be windy. The whole thing should be out of here tomorrow night by around 11 o'clock and the winds should calm down and the rain should end. Uh, basically, if you can get down and see things, I'd take a look at it tomorrow. But don't forget, it is going to be pretty hectic out there. Uh, we'll tell you more about next week, next time, here on morebeach.com.